Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, there's a problem with footies content on FC24 right now, but it doesn't actually have to do with the footies items themselves, but it's getting out of hand. I want to talk about that today, discuss a few things, and try to make sense as to why EA keep doing one specific thing with SBCs. And also, I want to look into today, which honestly might be a bigger day for FC25 news than FC24 footies content. We're going to get into that, but if you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe if you are new now let's take a look at yesterday's content first to start things off with the sbcs because we had a couple interesting things in here really one good sbc yesterday the other was just more of the same and what was more of the same was our player sbc another 96 rated sadio mane card footies premium he was leaked of course right we had the yaya he was leaked now we have mane as expected the nice thing about this card however is that he's actually five star five star ea's holding nothing back in that regard they are however holding a little bit back with his playstyle pluses finesse good quick step good relentless on a center forward and also trickster plus those leave a little bit left to be desired he can play at the striker role center forward or left mid left wing which is nice decent stats overall and again the playstyles are okay playstyle pluses are okay as well but the price is yet again at a 100 200 000 coin range and it's another 96 rated for these cards that i think a lot of people just look at and say there's been so many of these already in this game. But again, it does set him apart that we haven't had a Mane special in a while. And the fact that he's 5-star, five 5-star, five I'm sure this card is pretty solid in game. And it is only 3 squads to complete. 85, 86, and an 88. So it's pretty easy to get done as well. There's just not a whole lot to say there, right? Again, it's just another player SBC. It's just there, right? That's kind of how we feel. If you're a fan of Mane, if you're a fan... Um, then go ahead and get it done. Do the SBC, emotional value, nostalgia value, whatever it is. That's what's driving people to do a lot of player SBCs right now because most of them aren't going boom straight into your team. Now, maybe this SBC has more interest for you as it probably does for a lot of us. The icon player pick and EA did exactly what we expected them to with this. They added in the team three of footies icons. It's still great to the game. Footies team one and team two. They just added in that team three. It's still a one of three. It's still 93 plus and it's still pretty craftable. 88 and 89 rated squad. Honestly, one of the best SBCs to craft at the moment. I know some of you guys are doing these and you're getting a whole lot of duplicates and you're like, Nate, is this SBC really worth it? Because I keep packing the same greats of the game icons that I already have in my club. You know, I totally understand that because when I was doing this SBC last week, it was kind of the same thing. Like Javi, Javi Alonso, Suker, you know, these guys are everywhere in these SBCs and you're seeing very few of the Zidans and the R9s and of course some of the footies icons as well. I think last week, you can definitely tell as they add more footies cards in, they come become more like common, like Baresi was really, really common last week. I really haven't seen any of the new player pick open, but I'm definitely going to be crafting it during this week of content and crafting with the 82 plus player pick that hopefully comes out today. 84 times 10, 85 times 10 SBC will allow you to do this pretty quick. So I can imagine that the footies cards are popping a little bit more, probably the fodder ones from this pick now, since there's three teams of footies included in it but yeah it's just it's there like the price is 188,000 coins it is worth the craft we can do it two times it's going to refresh on wednesday do it two more times it'll refresh on saturday you can do it two more times before it goes away on next sunday a week from yesterday so that's kind of the sbc content that we had yesterday now before we get to the main point which revolves around sbcs i want to go check off the evo conversation that we have to have because I mean, guys, there was content in Evos yesterday, but it was really mid, really mid. Starting off with the silver midfielder Evo, this is the better two of the content from yesterday. Of course, you're taking a silver up to a more usable insane for a silver statistical level. You got incisive, relentless, and pinged pass plus, which is pretty nice. You also have some weak foot and skill move boosts going along in there as well with the technical play style, anticipate play style, and long ball pass. Honestly, you're creating a pretty nice midfielder from this. So once again it's just a couple of games to play three games in fact to get the card fully upgraded and evolved make sure if you're doing these silver evos in the silver cup 
um, that you are doing them all at the same time, or like have two active at the same time, because of course you can do that now. Just one thing to mention, because that's still something that we're getting used to, at least I am a little bit remembering that I can have two active Evos and not just one. So make sure you're getting that done as you're starting to play the cup. I'll start playing the cup this week as well. And uh, the other evolution that we had yesterday, Aerial Threat. Now this one's real crazy 175,000 coins that's kind of like on the upper tier of what ea has been requiring for the paid evos this year in terms of coins 175k yeah i guess there has been like a 250k evo but 175k is one of the most expensive evos we've seen in a while this evolution gives aerial plus and it takes you to a five star five star now we talked about it last week i was like guys i hope we really see an evo that brings out five star five star to a card i wasn't really expecting this they're putting that 5.5 five and the Aerial Plus meta behind a 175,000 coin price tag, which really the stat boost on this card isn't that good. And I feel like a lot of us as well, like when I look at my club, really none of these cards for me would become interesting with the stat boost that this Evo gives or just the playstyle plus that it gives. A lot of the cards that I would want to put this on already have Aerial Plus. So for me, this is one that's a save and maybe if something that I can evolve fits this and looks super crazy and cracked, then I'll go ahead and evolve it. But I already have so many Aerial Plus players like Weghorst or Darwin Nunez. I have so many other cards. Even I did the Peter Crouch Evo, right? I've got a plenty of options for headers and for crosses if I want to go that route. Even in defense, like the main center backs that are in my team already have that aerial plus. Like this Konate, this is kind of how it shows you that this evolution is not that great. This Tots Konate that a ton of people use during team of the season. He has Aerial Plus. He is right now one of the most popular options to go into this Evo just for the plus three overall and for the slight stat boost that he gets. Only plus one defense, dribbling, and pace. Most important uh, stats for a center back. You do get plus four passing and three dribbling. So yeah, there's that for 175,000 coins. And you have a 5-5 five, five center back. This Xerxes card, if you have the Tots objective still in your club, you could do this as well. But I'm sure a lot of people are turning Tots cards into SBCs, even if, even if they were objectives, right? Beats Holland. I still have this card in my club, but again, why would you do this if there's a Holland card that's five star, five star, and 99 rated at level 40 in the season that a lot of us would be getting to anyway? Would this be worth the grind of the games and the coins? Probably not. I just get the one at the end of the season. It's probably, not probably, it is better than that card there. So that evolution yesterday was just really stinky, to be completely honest. Do the silver midfielder ones if you're going to be playing in the cup, and you'll be good to go there. Now let's go back to SBCs for really the main point of today's video, and something that I wanted to bring up after I noticed crazy movements yesterday on the market. But relating to SBCs, guys, it's team of the season cards. Did you notice that in the 89 and the 88 rated squad of this icon player pick, you need a team of the season for both? In two of the squads of the Sadio Mane SBC, you need a team of the season as well. Guys, if you were to do the icon player pick twice yesterday, also do the 84 times 10 five times and the 85 times 10 once, that is 10 team of the week or team of the season players that you would need to complete all of those SBCs, right? And that's what we're logging on right now for, for the footies content. It's that sort of content. Guys, Todd's prices yesterday went absolutely to the moon. 60,000 coins for simple additions to SBCs that really should not be this expensive in the end game, right? Take a look at our favorite check of the price every single day, right? Dewsbury Hall, he's 51K right now. Yesterday, he went from 41,000 coins all the way up to almost 60k. Now, there's a couple of reasons to why Todd's cards went up so much. Yes, it was because they added requirements into the SBCs, but also some of the other Todd's cards, Todd's Plus and Todd's Moments have price range maximums where they went extinct yesterday for a short period of time, making regular TOTS cards go higher in price because these cards were nowhere to be found on the market, right? A lot of people buy these TOTS Pluses or TOTS Moments cards because they're cheaper than regular TOTS, right? But they have price ranges where yesterday they were extinct or almost extinct in price. And that made the regular team of the seasons like some of the 94s you see here on my transfer list go all the way up to 58, 59, 60 
k honestly wild now i'm not complaining from an investment standpoint i know a lot of you guys probably have some tots cards as well welcome to the sell window i thought tots cards were only going to go to like 42 to 45k this week boy was i wrong because ea kept requ requiring them everywhere right so take this opportunity to sell your tots cards and make a whole bunch of extra bank but it's kind of the principle that makes me a little bit irritated at this state stage of the game like i tweeted this out yesterday guys and look at the first comment. They need to release all tots and packs, honestly, or just remove them from the SBCs. This is this is footies, right? This is the end game fun where a lot of people are on the game right now. I know people that are back on this game that have stopped playing after team of the year or stopped playing after team of the season, and now they're back because it's footies, it's pink cards. And even with this tots card situation, and the way footy's content has been, I honestly feel like it's making people not want to be on the game as much because this year's footies... It struggled. It struggled a little bit, to be completely honest, guys. Um, now, I've got a Tots card here sitting in my club. I have Team of the Season cards, and we'll talk about that in a second. But this is one of the things that's making footies kind of annoying this year in terms of doing the SBCs and the grind is needing the Tots cards. Now, guys, here's the, here's the question I want to ask. Why do EA keep requiring them, right? Well, the simple answer is it makes them money it makes them money let me explain right ea don't supply the cards enough to match the demand right simple supply and demand tots cards are in packs and the best of re-release but you know you pack some here or there but i doubt we're all packing 10 of them per day to get the 84 times 10s 85 times 10s done and the icon player picks right you're not packing on average a tots card every 84 times 10 at least i'm not i don't think that's a fair assumption to say so what do you have to do you either have to go maybe you have the 90 plus tots upgrade left or you have to go spam player picks to get fodder to do the 83 plus team of the week player pick to get a team of the week that also satisfies that requirement which is just time on the menus that not a lot of people really want to do at this stage of the game or even have the actual time in real life to do so this is how ea make the money with it right you or me we all want to do the 92 plus picks the 93 plus picks the 84 times 10s because they're great and they're fun and you could pack good stuff right well they keep requiring tots cards they know that people don't want to spend the time to grind so what happens the demand is high, the supply is low, and TOTS cards go to the moon, and EA drain coins. We talk about EA draining coins all the time. That is how they make money mostly on this game, getting us to spend our coins and then also draining our clubs at the same time so that we feel like we have to go to the store to spend real money on a pack to give us these TOTS cards or to give us enough fodder to go and do SBCs with that to get tots cards and to get the other cards that we need to do the sbcs right that's the issue now there's a simple fix for this and it would be way less annoying because in my opinion tots cards should not be sixty thousand coins they shouldn't be and there's really no other reason like that this is happening besides ea like um, a couple people responded to tweets yesterday like nate this isn't ea's fault like no this 100 is ea's doing they they want it to be like this why would they require two tots cards in the same icon pick that last week only required one right they know what they're doing with this because it makes people go to the store and spend money on the packs all they would have to do to fix this is drop a daily repeatable team of the season SBC. Maybe it's one, two, three times a day repeatable. This 90 plus tradable tots, it doesn't even have to be tradable. If they gave us a team of the season upgrade that was as easy or easier to do than the team of the week upgrade, that would give you another option of getting a fodder card in your club from opening even an 84 times 10 or opening some 81, 82 plus picks. That would do it. Or even the easiest way to do it would be just up the pack weight on the TOTS cards that are already in packs. I know that's how I'm funding a lot of my 8410s and stuff, are packing TOTS cards from the re-release. But even then, like I'm not getting a TOTS card every 84 times 10 to keep recycling that into things, right? So I think they just need to up the pack weight. They need to add another SBC. Like I think last year in FIFA 23, we had an SBC that was like, um, what was it? Yeah, a TOTS or TOTS moments pack or player pick. And it, I think it was one squad and it was very downvoted because it was a little bit expensive, but like 
you know what? Like I would take that right now. That would at least give me an opportunity to put some 84s from an 84 times 10 that I got into a TOTS upgrade pack to get me a team of the season so that I don't have to try to figure out a way to get one somewhere else. So again, I know that it comes down to a people wanting to get the ease of use factor. It's easy to go buy a TOTS card off the market to do the SBC. And if you have coins, there's nothing wrong with that. But it just also reinforces that the store packs push and just trying to get people to spend a ton of money on this game, especially at this stage of the game where it's like, I know EA is a business and they got to try to make their money, man. But man, like TOTS cards really should not be any more than 20 to 30,000 coins. They really shouldn't be. Um, that's just my take on it. I know it's a really annoying thing at the moment. So the longer that it stays like this, also, I think it's going to make people want to play the game less. Like the way the footies content has been going, like I know people are annoyed with the SBC players. It's absolutely like terrible pack luck for the actual footies cards that are in packs. This footies has really been kind of mid. It's had its great points. It's had its good things, but it's also had just so much kind of lackluster content to it. And I don't know what all that means or like why that's all happened. Obviously, it's down to a lot of the player SBCs and footies has changed from what it used to be. But man, I think this whole TOTS situation is also really making a lot of people not want to get on and go through all the work to get a TOTS card or spend the coins or the money to do an SBC. It's not worth to spend the money literally like one month before the new game as well. So my opinion is drop a TOTS SBC that helps us just craft it with a little bit of time. It's easy to do or just up the weight. Hopefully re-release batch three allows us to pack team of season cards a little bit more. There's more TOTS cards in packs that would allow us to get them more so that we don't have to spend as much on the SBCs because right now stuff should be easy. It's footies. It's the end game, right? It should be easy easy. So let me know down in the comments if you have struggling struggles getting TOTS cards. I know a lot of you guys don't because you're grinding the menus a lot still or you're grinding packs, but if you're losing motivation at all or I don't know, whatever it may be, let me know how your TOTS grind has been because it's been a struggle for me as of late to try to get some of the things done because they keep requiring a lot more team of the season cards. Now, speaking of fodder, really quickly before we get into Monday content today that might make TOTS cards move again, we got to look at regular fodder, 84s. If you want to buy 84s, I would get them on a bid at like 1.5K. Goodbye to 1.2K minimum price. They're not going there again. Yesterday, the 84s were all above 2.2K to 2.3K. That's a crazy price for those. 85s as well, like 3,000 coins at the moment. And yesterday, they hit 3.7K. If you want to get on bids, 84s and 85s would be the play for today's trade as well because they're probably going to do it again. Now, today on Monday, let's talk about that Monday content, right? We know it's coming. We're getting a new player pick, probably the 82 plus. This has been the 81, 82 plus show for the last two months, it feels like, on this game. We've been flip-flopping every Monday between these player picks. We'll probably also get an 85 plus player pick today as well to go along with the 82 plus. It's nice that the 82 plus is back. We love that. It's our favorite player pick for sure. But even right now, I've done the crafting upgrade. At least we still have exchanges to get commons and the daily gold upgrade to get commons for an 82 plus pick. So that, that should make things a little bit better. Yeah, I'll be honest. It should make things better for sure. But um, again, it's the pack weight for these cards. That's the struggle. Like it's even making me like, do I want to grind a lot this week? I do because I want to hit the 92 plus picks, but having the 82 plus pick back today will help that out hopefully a little bit and of course we're probably going to be getting a player SBC as we mentioned in yesterday's video we have Peter Crouch who's been leaked as a footies player we also have Cordoba so we haven't seen either of those yet and it could be somebody completely different today as well like last week or two weeks ago on Monday we had Loftus Cheek so maybe we get a regular player SBC today as well not a hero uh, like Cordoba or Crouch we'll just have to see but I bet we get something today but as I mentioned earlier the real big news for today, guys, is actually related to FC 25, and it's happening before content. If you're still working on this deep dive objective, today is the day for this. Uh, the trailer is going to be playing. The deep dive, there's going to be pitch notes, which we'll be able to talk about tomorrow or today, I mean, on stream. Probably have a video on the second channel about that, um, and we'll even touch on it tomorrow in the video a little bit as well. Um, but this is, this is the one that we're all looking forward to, right? There's more news and information, hopefully, that we learned today. We've talked about a lot of things related to FT25 already since we had some of that insider knowledge and early access to it, but really... It is this deep dive today, which we'll hopefully learn some more about Rush in Ultimate Team, the duplicate storage, 
the rumors about the season pass and a premium season pass and what that's going to look like, especially changes to the rivals, right? I hope they really talk about the rivals point system today and some of the other burning questions that we have about FC 25 ultimate team specifically so that is going to happen today two hours before content that's kind of the time frame for it and uh yeah there's going to be pitch notes with probably a whole book of information to look through so we'll be talking a lot about that today that'll probably be one of the biggest pieces of news and info but also knowing ea like i could imagine today's content being halfway decent and a bit of a surprise after they drop some news like that they will probably want to drop some decent content as well you know, just try to keep us happy. I don't know. That's just kind of a tinfoil hat theory, I guess you could say. But also, Mondays have been pretty quiet. So I'm not expecting a whole lot today. But the 82-plus player pick will be a nice one to have back. I'm excited to get back on the stream, rip through these 92-plus picks, 84 times 10s, and uh, rinse through, hopefully chasing the 99-rated Messi that we are still after, and any of the other cards from Footy's team 1, 2, or 3 as well. Hitting some of these would be really, really insane. We have the dupe theory now for Ronaldo. We have the team of the year and the PTG. If we were to pack that 99, that would be absolutely bananas. But we're just going to give ourselves a shot at something crazy by doing this 92-plus pick on repeat all week long so i'm excited to do that in the stream today guys but if you're excited for it as well excited for that fc25 news drop a thumbs up on the video comment below if you have any questions and i'll see you in oh subscribe if you're new of course and i'll see you in the twitch stream today it's been native account see you guys there peace